David Needs, congratulations, director of track, cross country. What's it mean to you to move out of uh, the football offices and come over to Holt Fieldhouse and be uh, the guy that makes the Eagles run? Well, you know, it's, it's a great experience. I think that one of the things that uh, I've enjoyed, certainly enjoyed all the things that has come with football, but at the same point, I think that, you know, um, being able to really build our track program in a direction that, that, that we want it to go and, and a Carson Newman quality, I think is really, is, has made me excited to look at the new possibilities. How much does timing help with this, the fact that track and field will become a SAC sponsored sport in your first year with both of the, uh, the running programs, both cross country and track and field? I think that, I think that the biggest thing is, is that, that, that that's huge timing. I mean, because with the scholarship limits going up, I think with, with uh, some of the expectations to compete, you know, not only to compete for a conference title, but, uh, you know, with the whole athletic department, you want to kind of, you don't want to not do your part. And I think we've had a, a great track program around here, but now it's a chance to prove it a little bit more than just where we're going to finish in the region, but also where we're going to finish in the conference. What do you want to bring to both the fall and spring uh, programs? I, th I think one of the things that we ha have have missed a little bit is kind of that that fall work ethic for an in an off season uh, conditioning program, but then also I think it, it's a chance to really build our indoor program too. Um, we've gone to and done some indoor meets, but really to to focus your training towards that and and be ready by early December to compete. Um, I think it only helps um, the, the track program, and then I think once you get into the spring, it really allows the, those young men and young women to to really have a, a purpose in what their training is in the fall. How's this change how you structure your day, I suppose, being full-time with the, the runners and right. uh, not splitting time between the KSAC and the MSAC? Right. It, it does. You know, one of the things that it does is, is, is it says, you know, that, that not only are you work, worried about what the quarterbacks are going to do and, and then, then what your, your hurdlers and jumpers are going to do. I mean, it, it kind of does allow you to focus a little bit more. But I think what it also allows me to do is, is, is kind of uh, get the kind of athletes that we need recruiting-wise. You know, when you're trying to recruit for two sports, when you're recruiting for football and you're recruiting for track, your time is spent, you know, kind of between both. And now there's some that, that will fit both roles. But, but for the most part, now you can go out there and recruit the kind of females and, and specialists that you need in track to be successful. David, congratulations. Any other thoughts? That, I'm just excited to, to start a new phase and, and excited about what it's going to mean for Carson Newman.